Hi everyone, how are you? Fine, okay. ठीक है So today we are going to talk about uh, uh, what is a DSA. Why we need to learn that? Why it is necessary to learn that? It is not necessary basically. It is just a uh, utility to just uh, get a long jump into your career into the software development. That's all. And uh, apart from that. like what is a dsa why we need to learn a dsa we will just uh, craze over how we are going to learn a dsa okay so that's the agenda for uh, today's uh, video and first of all what is a dsa dsa full form is a dsa is basically abbreviation of a data structure and algorithm theek hai so those are two different topics so basically data structure is a and algorithm those combining are making a one of the subject into the computer science so this is just a simple subject into the computer science data structure and algorithm theek okay? hai into that data structure means uh, like a way of uh, storing a data or organizing a data or retrieving a data theek okay? hai suppose you are opening a instagram and you are seeing a lot of photos on the instagram right so those photos those user names those profiles are stored somewhere right in some kind of a server some kind of a data centers in some kind of a data structures right and those are getting retrieved efficiently also so that science is called as data structure and algorithm is uh, as you know the step by step uh, procedure to solve anything uh, basically even if it is a problem task the step by step procedure to do anything is algorithm okay so that is a data structure and algorithm theek okay? hai and the second topic we are going to discuss why we need to learn a data structure and algorithms as a college student also and as a being a it professional also theek hai so basically the primary reason to learn the data structure is just to get a ease at a recruitment process like a lot of fang companies or a lot of a good startups like uh, cred swiggy zomato flipkart even though flipkart is not a startup anymore but a lot of good startups into the hiring process right they are having a two to three rounds on the data structure so they are going to ask a lot of a coding problems and they are expecting you to communicate that thought process behind the problem solving into the interview itself so that is the first use case to learn the dsa and second use case is basically if you are a uh, from non it background or something like that and uh, you are getting forced into the it industry basically uh, for a job for a money all this right so like a couple of years back i i was having a fear of uh, solving a dsa problems and all this by learning a dsa right you will just uh, get rid of that imposter syndrome into the it industry मतलब इन टू द डेली लाइफ यू कैन सी द यूज केस ऑफ अ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एलगोरिथम्स वी यू आर इफ यू आर राइटिंग सम प्रोग्राम्स राइट यू कैन जस्ट थिंक ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजिंग दैट प्रोग्राम यूजिंग अ डी एस एंड ऑल दिस एंड थर्ड इज हाउ कैन वी लर्न दैट डी एस ए सो दैट इज अ रियली सिंपल बेसिकली देर आर लॉड ऑफ रिसोर्सेज ऑन द यूट्यूब एंड लॉड ऑफ फ्री रिसोर्सेज ऑन द यूट्यूब यू जस्ट न्यू टू क्यूरेट देम डाउन एंड that's all we just need to go through the basics once basics is completed uh, there are lot of platforms like uh, lead code hacker rank hacker earth they are providing a good quality problems if we just solve the top interview questions and all this we are far ahead of expectation like uh, this is uh, more than enough and uh, at max it will take just take 6 uh, to 7 months but it is really easy but you have to be a uh, very consistent for example you don't have to spend a 6 days on the weekend or a 6 day on 6 hours on the single day something like that instead of that just spend daily 30 minutes on a problem solving so that is a more than enough to crack a any coding interview i am just saying coding interview right so don't take it as a whole interview process i am just saying coding interview of any microsoft amazon or any good kind of startup a uh, good emerging startups in india so daily 30 minutes is more than enough for that 
so what we are doing is we are just uh, coming with a playlist for the dsa basics and all and later on we are just going to solve the lead code important problems like uh, live programming solutions uh, i'm just going to post those videos okay bye